Hi everyone, thank you for joining this week's AJI Tech Corner. Today we will be showing you Streak, the plugin for Gmail. With this tool, you can track when your emails are being read. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started in here. Before we begin, I would just like to say how happy we are to now offer a ton of great free marketing tools to all of our agents. And these are now available in the AJI University. Our goal is to always give back to our agents by offering the newest tools and technology to you. None of this would be possible without you and your amazing amount of agent referrals to AJI. As Allison James continues to grow with agents referring other agents to our brokerage, we will be able to provide more of these tools to you. And remember, you can earn a monthly or yearly residual payment simply by having an agent join us. All you need to do is contact Jeff Jabora or Alicia Aratari in our National Growth and Development Department and provide them with the contact information of the agent who you would like to refer over. Now, the first thing you're going to need to do is go to streak.com, that's S-T-R-E-A-K.com, and you will see on this page the button right in the middle, Install Streak for Gmail. So to get started, just click on that. And you will see that it asks you here to um, add the extension. So just click on the Add Extension button. And here up at the right-hand side, it says Streak for Gmail has been added into Chrome. So that pretty much downloads automatically. And then it will take you to your inbox. Now, when you get to your inbox, you will see that there are a few things which have changed. and it should appear here. Let me. Now it will, when you click on Compose, once it has downloaded into, um, into Chrome, just click on Compose here. And for some reason, it looks like the plugin has not installed yet. I left it um, purposely. Um, so I can show you how to install it, but it looks as though it is loading. So, um, well, I'll just go ahead and tell you with Streak, it's um, a great tool. You can, um, here we go, get started with Streak. Click on Continue, and then you will need to accept the permissions on here. You'll see that it's um, up at the top right-hand side. It has been installed now. It only took a second before when I did it. Um, so you'll see that there are a few different things here in your inbox. One thing you can do is if you click on Compose, and you will need to turn on tracking. That way you can see, as I had mentioned, if anyone opens your emails, if they don't open them. So you can go into your sent box and, um, and track the emails which have been sent. So I'll go over that in just a second. But the first thing I want to show everyone is when you click on Compose, um, down at the bottom, you'll see there are a few extra buttons in here. These are just some additional um, tools available. You can send an email or you can schedule an email to be sent later. So all you do is select the time and it will automatically send. So that's something that's really neat that, um, that I haven't seen on any of the other apps that I've looked at recently. So that's a good one. Um, also on here, um, you can create a box. Um, now, that is a way to track all of the emails that will go into this conversation. So, for example, if I'm sending this to one person, say, for example, Sandy, um, I can create a box for Sandy. In there, I can put notes. Um, all of the emails will be tracked in that box, um, and I can also put tasks in there when it also has a checkbox so you can um, show when any of the tasks have been completed. So that is another thing you can do. As you can see, tracking is currently turned on. If you would like to turn tracking off for a certain email, if you really aren't worried whether someone's opening it or not, just simply click on um, tracking off. And then snippets. If you have any emails which you send, um, any repetitive ones which you're just sick of typing over and over again, you can create a snippet for it. Um, so all you need to do is click on Create New Snippet, and 
type in the title here. As you can see, I created one just thank you. So I'll do thank you again. And all you need to do is type in, hello, thank you. Whatever message you would like, type that in here and click on done. And then if you would like to add in that template, which you've already created or any of those, you'll see that they appear right here for you. So that's another neat feature which is available in Streak. Then you can look at your sent emails. This is what, um, what I was telling everyone. You can check when people have opened them. So under your sent emails, you can click on recently viewed. And it doesn't look as though I've really sent anything this morning. I, obviously, I just, um, just downloaded the plugin, but any of your recently viewed emails will appear in here, and you can search um, and you can search through them. All of your tracked emails will appear here as well. And any which you are awaiting a reply for, which this is a really neat feature, any your awaiting a reply for, you will be able to find in here as well. Now over on the left hand side, as I had mentioned, the boxes, um, that's where you can track emails in a chain. Uh, those are your pipelines. So here you can, can't really see it, but there is a um, link here to add a new pipeline. And um, with that, you can choose what you would like the pipeline to be. So any of your email chains, say for example, um, you're tracking a lead, you can select sales and CRM. Um, real estate, if you're tracking a specific transaction, you can click the real estate button here, track a home, buyer or sellers, and um, manage closings. Uh, they have a ton of different options here event planning, trip planning, or you can just do a custom blank one. Um, so I am just going to click on the custom blank one here, which I have created. And this is what your pipeline looks like. Uh, now it looks a little complicated at first, but it is pretty easy. All you do is click on new box here, and you can type in, say for example, um, add signature block to email assigned to, you can select someone else for this task to be assigned to. So all you need to do is insert their email address and they will, um, they will be added into this. Notes here, you can um, type in any notes um, to be done by 2-12-16. Okay, so you have notes in there. I know that that is a task for me. And then let me just go ahead and show you, for example, here, I can add this one into the blank um, box, which I've just created. So I can search through any of my emails and I can add them into specific boxes. So now, for example, if this one really did have something to do with the signature, which I needed to add, that would go directly into this box. Everything would be all tied together. So there are a ton of features which are available in Streak. Um, also another one here at the top is you see the alarm clock button. If you click on this, um, you can actually snooze this email. So for example, if this is something that um, I know I don't need to respond to, um, or I can't respond to until, say, tomorrow morning, I can snooze that until tomorrow at 10 a.m. At that time, it will be archived, and then at tomorrow at 8 a.m., it will appear at the very top of my inbox. So I'll know automatically I need to take care of that. It popped up right away. So again, there are a ton of features available with Streak. You have the email tracking. Um, you can send emails at a later date or time. You can create snippets, which are custom templates. Um, so you don't have to type repetitive emails over and over again. Um, you can create your pipelines where you keep track of all of your, um, 
where you keep track of all of your emails, uh, the chains, any notes, any tasks that need to be done. And um, and I think this is a really neat little thing. I just found out about it last week and um, I did download it on my other computer, loving it so far. So I definitely encourage you guys to, um, to take a look and download it. As you see, it only takes a second to download onto, um, onto your computer. So that is it for Streak. I am going to um, stay on the line for a few minutes um, to answer anyone's questions. So please type those into the questions box if you do have any. And um, please make sure that you join me next Thursday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time or 1 o'clock p.m. if you are on the East Coast. And we are going to be going over RE Coach. This is a really neat website. It's um, coaching, business planning, everything wrapped all into one, and it is a free um, it is a free website to sign up for. So make sure you join me next Thursday, same time, and I will go ahead and take any questions now. Thanks so much, everyone, for joining me.